Hello, my name is Eric Bartness. I am the current lighting director and backup bass player for 5440. I've been with the band over a dozen years now. I started on the 30th anniversary tour. Uh, what a treat that was to do the first album in its entirety all the way through. A uh, real treat for the fans and for myself. About 700 gigs I've done with this band. It's really hard to choose a favorite. Really, going to Cambridge Bay, none of it, and doing the shows up there at minus 52 was an adventure of a lifetime. Uh, the Unplugged tours were, were fabulous. They, you guys look great up on stage in the suits. Uh, it's a real honor and a privilege to get to work for a band uh, who I grew up listening to on the radio. I mean, really, they are my, my second favorite Canadian band of, of all time, and you all know that's to be true. I look forward to the future. Uh, I know we're not done yet. And on that note, this is what's left of the rider scotch from uh, the Elma Combo. Cheers to the future. Oh, it's like angels pissing on your tongue from a considerable distance. Congratulations on 40 years, guys. Thanks for having me. Hopefully see you sooner than later. Bye. Happy 40th birthday, 5440. Uh, my name is Bruce Pickle. I've been your guitar tech a grand total of six times, and every time was awesome. I wish you guys all the best in the future, and maybe one day we'll get to see your show for real again. Happy birthday, guys. Keep on keeping on. Oh, hi there. Tim Pearsall here. It's hard to believe it's been almost 20 years since I was front row at your show last, till that one day I got a phone call. Changed my life forever. Hundreds of shows, thousands of miles, countless memories. I wouldn't change it for the world. Thank you for putting your trust in me like I trust you. Because without trust, what would we have? Congratulations on 40 years. Can't wait to get back on the road with you again. Hello, Chris Austin here, sending a heartfelt congratulations to you all on your 54 40th anniversary. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to have had the opportunity to work with the band. Neil, I'll never forget my first gig, uh, cleaning and super gluing your finger back together so you could play guitar that night. Dave, please keep the amps coming, and I hope we can all connect again in a post-COVID world. And Tim, thanks for the killer deal on this deluxe reverb. 5440. Uh, yeah. Uh, kind of remember some of the gigs, but, uh, I'm thinking, uh, somewhere Southern Saskatchewan. Don't remember where. All I remember is a spaghetti dinner with our incredible crew. Uh, I remember the gig being good too. I remember all the gigs being good, but, uh, yeah, um, uh, 5440? Never heard of him. Oh, good to see you there. Hi, it's Sleepy Jay here. I was asked to do a video, but I oh, should could tell. I'm so busy. Congrats on 40 years. Thank you for taking my husband away multiple times a year. Catch up on my beauty sleep. Jeff Forsgren here. Stepped in for a second to wish you a happy 40th anniversary of rock. Um, and what an honor it has been to uh, work with you over the past decade. Um, I was told by Eric I was only allowed one story, right? But uh, you know, you gotta be kidding me, Eric. <laughs> what do I talk about? 
should I tell you about this? I don't know where we got this from. I found it in a case. Somebody tell me where I got that from. And, oh God, whatever you do, don't tell Matt I've got this. Look at the blood, sweat, and tears that went into this and how many shows we did on this. Anyways, I will tell you one cool story, and this is about Alan. I remember one time doing a gig in uh, Toronto one time, and uh, I remember the band was about to start. There's about 400 people out in this out on the dance floor. There was a, uh, a legal coming down on the dance floor, and I looked out there, and here's Alan Moy standing underneath it, right? Just watching the band, the song ends, and I see him do this. Band starts another song, and I look out there, and he's still out there underneath this legal, like, all lit up, like, nice and bright, just watching the band. Song ends. That went on for the whole show. Encore comes, I look over there, and he's gone, and I'm looking at the stage, and I feel this tap on my back, and I look at it, oh God, it's him! Anyways, Alan Moy, interna international man of mystery. Um, I love you all dearly and uh, wish you all the best in uh, 2021. And uh, yeah, let's go get him. Let me take you out with this. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. It's been an incredible privilege to be part of the 5440 family for so many years. Uh, a lot of memories, a lot of great shows. I uh, certainly remember the Wild Bills gig uh, before opening for the Stones, uh, that time in Banff and heading across the street uh, with Ronnie Woods. Uh, certainly the only time I've seen any of you guys be speechless. Uh, so that was a real riot. Uh, thank you so much. Happy 40th. Love you all. Wow, 40 years. The thing I remember most is at Grand Bend Speedway in 1998 on the Since When Tour and this massive storm rolled through and we all had to run for cover and uh, it was this torrential downpour. But 40 years in the making, what I honestly think is the best is the friends that have become family and most importantly, the music. Congratulations, guys. Here's to another 40 years of making amazing music. Hey, 40th anniversary, guys. You guys have always been a big part of my life, big part of my touring career, and so many fond memories. And uh, I have to say I was one of the guys who was lucky and unlucky to be in the era of the Smiling Buddha sign and haul that thing around in and out of clubs and theaters, uh, but uh, there's so many great memories with you guys. You're all great people and I hope you're doing well and hope to see you soon. Hey guys, happy anniversary, it's Cookie. I can't believe it's been 20 years since I was your fabulous merch girl. Where does the time go? I'm supposed to talk a little bit about some of my favorite memories from the road, but how do I narrow it down? Everything from sharing a room with Coco on the Paloma tour to Every night you ever played the Kitabala, it was always so epic and the energy there was incomparable. Um, to Brad popping the VHS tape of the West Wing in at the bus for the West Wing marathons and catching up on the latest episodes after every show during that time. It's always what I think of when anybody ever mentions the show The West Wing. But my most epic memory that I have to include is the farewell Thule party when they, who were the opening band, were leaving the tour. Uh, I believe it was in Hinton, Alberta. We were in this teeny tiny little motel. We took over their dining room and stayed up all night playing drunk musical chairs, <laughs> chugging that mystery drink and singing Frank Sinatra songs and literally climbing the rafters. <laughs> Oh my God, like it was just an amazing time and I will never forget. I won't forget any of my days on the road with you or how grateful I am for the opportunity to have had that experience. It was always some of the best times of my life. So happy anniversary, cheers to many more. I loved my time with you. I love the music, I love the tour, I loved the bus, I loved the wonderful places we got to see. I love the rink eating places we got to see and of course, I love you all.
Hi, my name is Don Thorsness, and I've had the honor and privilege of lighting 5440 for many years. Neil, Brad, Matt, Dave, Oz, congratulations on your 40th year. You're amazing people, amazing musicians, and you're national treasures. I can't congratulate you enough, and it was so much fun being able to work with you. Eric said to go and have a couple of little quick stories. I'll keep it quick. Uh, best meal. I hope you remember July Fest in Kimberley 2016. An Olympic culinary chef, Robert Davidson, gave us an amazing meal in a hockey dressing room. And then, you know, went out. We had a great show. And then he showed up at our hotel the next morning and made en Eggs Benny and hash browns for all of us before we left. An amazing time with amazing people, but there's thousands of those stories. And speaking of even more amazing stories, some of the best times of my life have been lighting you guys and being with you, and I can't thank you enough. And this is the Commodore 2016. It was an amazing show. I remember after night one heading upstairs into the dressing room, knowing me, probably looking for a beer. And Neil was the first person I saw. He saw me and gave me a great big hug and said that was amazing. And it was. And again, I can't thank you guys enough. Congratulations. As well, I must thank Rick Boyd Bazoon for pulling me into this wonderful family. Eric Martinus has been a friend for many years, even way before 5440. And to be able to share it with him is a great, great honor. And Alan Moy, thank you again. So guys, I hope we can only do something in your 40th year. Until that time, there's no vodka surprises. But cheers to you on your 40th. Have a great one. Hey guys, Gavin here. Uh, way to go on 40 years. That really says something. Uh, my best memories of uh, touring with you guys was in uh, 89 on the Canadian tour with Ultima Tula and Phil Comparelli sitting on the bus uh, trying to explain to the uh, Estonians and the Russian in his best Estonian and Russian uh, what was going on with the news as we watched the uh, Berlin Wall getting knocked down. All the best you guys. Way to go. Hi, Rick Bazoin here, a.k.a. Boink. I was a tour manager and audio engineer for 5440 in the late 1990s till the early 2000 period. Matt Johnson is solely responsible for me getting my hair all cut off and being taken more seriously as a tour manager then. Of course, that was then. I miss you guys.